Let me know. Bye 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 no, you can like somebody and ever listen to me. Alright? Sometimes look here. Sometimes you can like a girl to, to be just your friend. Oh a friend. Yeah, just your friend. No, she not to kiss you. You have to have about kiss. Why you Why you So you want your friend to kiss up in your mouth? Why you So on. So if I your friend she have to kiss you from your mouth? No, see. I'm a, I'm a man. Why you are man? Why you are man? Why No, you can have regular friends, my brother. Why not? Why not? Just like friends, like oh. sister. Hey, I want to be a sister. Yeah. I want to be. Aile. Yeah, man. So sometimes it's not always about touching no, up the girl. Like them. This no. won't give you one, man. Wait. See? Sometimes we just have an, a girl. My friend, Bridget. A friend? Yeah, a friend. I have a girlfriend. Why you want? Yeah, she's a girl. Uh, and she's your friend, but she's not your friend to a friend. wind up and uh, and to uh, touch uh, her up. Why you want pick it up? You mean tapi? You know work so. What? Oh you work. <laughs> because I said so my friend. Why you want You have to have sex with your friend? Why? Why you wanna put a ring on her hand? Why? So you're, you're looking at a wife, you want a wife? I'm wife! My lord! Yeah, you want to get married? I'm wife! Yeah? You want to get married? Wife! Yeah. Alright, well, if you find the right girl to get married. I'm wife! And then the girl? Yeah, go look for them then. I'm wife! 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 I'm BMW. Every car has Benz wheel. My. Yo, 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 yo. Bless. Yeah, man, I'm six of them early morning, Chadja. What garbage? You don't Yeah. Six of come look for him one of them. But you what? Going to the mall a while ago. And six pint out five huh? different stores. And I tell me, say, him have a girl at work there, so. Him have a girl at work over there, so. And him have a girl at work over there, so. How much girl have at the store, six? Why are you what? Three. Why are you what? Three of them. Yeah. So you don't breathe none of them? Nah. You don't want to pick me? Why are you what? Eh? Yeah, Hold on. You always have to take up people oh, picnic. You always have to grab people picnic on a board. You want one. See, I'm going to with a girl, brother. Why? Eh? Why you want that? Answer me, no man. What? You know why you want picnic? You know why you want oh, picnic? Hey. Hey. Hello, man. Why you want that? You can't, why? Make, you can't make one girl pass it. Why you want so one more come there. You like that one there too? Yeah, I pick me. So that one there what? I pick me. Oh you're smart. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You look at you. Hi Lee! Oh for pick me. Wait, say that again? My yo! Hi Lee, bless, blessed morning. Yeah man, come at this um place here, not for the express. Come um pick up a package yeah because I'm having I'm doing a little fundraiser thing 
actually I'm trying to get some equipment I'm trying to get some computers a few computers at least five I'm searching for seeing for this project that I pledged to support it's a basic school and a short of a couple computers so somebody sent me a laptop yes so I am here to pick it up today at this not for the Express and this is the first one out of five that I'm seeking for yes because let me tell you something I always tell you, you know, education is the key seeing yeah and um, this is where it's at seeing so we have to put in to our young ones to get something out of them and for real you look on it in a bridging tell us something it's not every youth the the it's not every youth is going to learn the book work on a certain level you know and we have to accept that because everybody learn differently and we're all here for different reasons so saying that I want to emphasize that learning a skill is very 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 important very important because I've been saying this for the longest you know and the statistics shows that there are so much so many youths out here with a bag of education a bag of education and them can't use a hammer them can't use a saw them can't use a shovel them can't even know if a plant one little tree a simple thing like that they don't even know how to cook they don't have no type of skills besides their book smart and lots of them like I'm saying the statistics shows lots of those youths ended up without a job without finding placement in a job and after a while they get frustrated I see them on the streets do you know I've seen people on the street madman madwoman when you check their educational level you'll be amazed and they end up on the street you know they end up on the street because sometimes frustration kick in you know and stress come play a part I know everybody can handle them something there you see what I say I know everybody can handle frustration and stress some people are not built for that you know some people are not built to, 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 to absorb obstacles you know so when they jump over a few hurdles or obstacles and they're tired and they're frustrated and they give up so the next one's coming up they just run right into it and tumble over and drop over and drop a ground them say enough me can't manage it you know and everybody build that way there so saying that again i am trying to stress how important it is for you to learn a skill you know to put with their education you know and I mean if you have the basic education if a youth have the basic education him can read him can write or he or she can read and write and learn to fill out some forms you know construct a sentence you know what I'm saying with a good skill believe me sometimes they work out better than the person with their big education and I'm being real and I'm not saying that to make some people know say they don't need education and this is not what professor is saying you know this is exact not exactly what I'm saying this is not what I am saying what I'm merely saying is that sometimes we pressure pressure our children them too much and make them lose their self-esteem because they're not performing academically well with your expectations so we, we, we pressure them and, and curse them and, 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 and put them down and make them feel bad about themselves from a young age. You understand? When we should be directing their energy into something else. Get flexible with them. You know me I say? Let them know that, hey, learning a skill, you can survive off of that too. Learning one or two skills can bring you through life. You see what me I say? Yeah, man. Really. Highly blessed, highly blessed. Yeah, man, I'm there to try to fix up my wall. Yeah, building a wall right here. I need um, to block out the eyes. So, I said, so I can have some privacy in our backyard. 
So what I'm doing is like I'm um, I build a little stone wall right here first. Yeah. I build a little stone wall. Then I'm running two row blocks up here so. See him? Along the line here. See and then after I run this two row blocks I put up some four before up right and then use the modern fencing, the board across the one by six and then um stain them. Yeah. So that's that one. I'm gonna run the block them right now. Make sure we put up the card line. Get the level. Yeah, because that's very important. So it's on its way, you know. Right, let's say it there. Yeah man. So you can get around a little fence at the property. You know, kind of face lift, give the place a face lift. I understand. Yes, people, yes, yes, yes. See there? Came to pick up this laptop. This is the first one that I attained for the school. Alright, so I'm gathering some equipment. I need four more computers. It could be computers or a laptop. I need four more people. So this is the first one. Thanks to the person who sent this. Some people don't want to get no shout out their names in terms of who sent it and this is one of the person where I appreciate that. It's not everybody like to be put in the put on the spot like that, you know. Them just want to do a thing from them hard. They might do it for the love, they might do it for the likes. You see? It? So thank you my friend for this laptop. It will put to good use seen donated to a basic school and like i said i need four more of these equipments whether laptop or desktop anyone is good okay so i need four more one down four to go highly blessed yeah man up full highly <laughs> blessed highly blessed you know i had a surprise yeah i opened the package and i thought it was one I open the package and I realize there's two thing pads in here. Yeah, two little small laptops. So I have two and I need three more. Right? Because I promised to get them five. So I have two. I need three more people, three more to go. So this is a big twist and a surprise in my thing. I thought it was one in there for I opened the package, but obviously the person who sent them to me gave me a big surprise. And I appreciate that. I will take these type of surprises all day. Yeah, I love these type of surprises. Yeah, because when I looked, I like to surprise the children also. So this is a beautiful gesture. Yes. So like I said, thank you again, Mister. All blessed right, love. Right, right, blessed, right. blessed love. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, Isle. Isle bless. Isle, Isle, Isle bless. Yeah, man. Today I'm back at the Bumbrook Basic School. Uh, this project means a lot to me so i am following up on this um i just want to let you know that i need some paint to paint this school here seeing it's yellow and blue seeing the paint is stripping off of it you know and it's not a huge building you know not a large building at all you know i'm estimating it's about a, um let me see about 60 by 20 foot yeah about 60 by 20 foot yeah building so we, we need some paint some blue and some yellow like you can see that's the color of the school and um when i get the paint you know get some people for come donate them time voluntarily yes and come paint the school you know i got that See, all I need is the tools to get the job done. And when I say the tools, I mean the paints, the brushes, the scrapers, the rollers. You understand? Once I get those things, I will get the manpower, you know, to come get it done. See? So, Bingy, I say again, say this project is very important to me. You know, I felt like I had to do this, you know, because, you know, I mean, just think about it, you know. When you have an environment that is vibrant, that is clean, that is comfortable, learning becomes more easier. And the teachers who are teaching are more comfortable to do their job 
efficiently and effectively I believe so you know so my intention behind this is to make this environment a warm and comfortable environment for the youths and for the teachers see so like I'm saying I got one computer already I need four more see and I need the paint them to come get the thing done all right so anybody interested you know i tell you know this because you're going to see where everything is going because i'm going to do the presentation i'm going to document every single thing that's happening here so if you're interested in making this work you know what to do just reach out to professor bingy everybody knows my number already who don't know it seeing it's eight seven six seven eight three six six seven four seeing eight seven six seven eight three six six seven four so if you're interested in um donating a, a, a um a gallon of paint a couple of paint brushes one one roller one scraper whatever you can give we accept it we welcome it we appreciate of it yes yes in a real life so this is what it's all about seeing so we just come today we um highlight this to to talk more about it because like i said very important to me seeing six bars there with Why me too, seeing and when you see the progress of six bars seeing so when you see what um dedication can do you understand once you dedicate yeah. to something or to someone you can get something out of them or out of the situation out of it out of anything you know once you put in is what you put in you get out so me forward from yeah so this is where it's at you know that um when i touch on that note i want to i want to, i want to touch a little point because our country here is um when, when it come on to education i think that they, they are not um playing an effective role in terms of um making sure that these youths come up with an education because i've seen youths going through high school you know going through the grades and the forms in high school and then still come out and can't read me not understand that how did you make them move from one level to another and them can't read where will they reach a point where them graduate high school and can't read you know like i'm saying you know don't get me wrong in a bridging and every youth i go get the 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 the, the, the high scholastic achievements you know and do brilliant in school academically and every youth all do that but at least they should be able to read and write the basics you know because let me tell you something you have some youths you have some people with them skills you know and just because them cannot read and write that hold them back from excelling into their craft you understand because i guess when they can't even read a contract much less figure right one you understand yeah some of them can't even count money they only can count to a certain amount them cannot count pass 200,000 past 300,000 much less figure reach a million you put that in front of them and tell them to count them turn full you get to me forward from those are what you call basic education you understand every youth is entitled to that that basic education you know along with a skill a trade and i mean you'll be golden man you'll be golden i know how long i go up 12 and 15 subjects you know and like me said parents don't stop pressure the youths them if you know see them no really up to par in a them way there you understand what me i say because i know every youth is capable of that everybody brain different you know believe me everybody brain different and function different but i know that if you put in enough effort they can learn the basics and that is what is important see learning the basic reading and writing seeing every youth in jamaica should be at least capable of doing that man at least so what i'm saying that the, the system is saying okay um parents you have to teach your kids at home okay you cannot depend on the school you need to do more no come on let's be realistic people let's be realistic how many percentage of parents out here that have their children sent into school that can't read and write think about it it's true it's a fact a lot and lot and lot of them where none of the parents mother or father can't read and write so you can't 
you can't blame the parents when you did not educate those parents because of the same routine and have them for all these years you know put them through school from primary to high school and graduate them and them can't read and write and then you're gonna look to them to educate their children after you graduated them when cannot cannot read and write yeah come on it's ludicrous it's ridiculous so the system needs to put more things in place in terms of making sure that these youths come up if you have to pay the teacher them more because guess what teachers are underpaid you know I me mean, not point no fingers for no teachers in a real life I'm not i would be wrong to do that it's the system the system is slack the system is not strict enough you know what i'm saying the system needs to pull up them socks and pull up them thing and get the thing together the right way you see what I mean? I say, pay the teachers them properly, equip them with the proper tools to get their jobs done. You see what I mean? Forward from, and then you will see progress. Then you will definitely see progress. You know, and stop graduate the youth them when them can't read and write, man. Stop put them through high school from primary to high school. Them wear all them do a look pretty. I got school neat and clean, ear well groomed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but that's not all. Some of them look so groomed going to school, which is good, which is great. Cause presentation is is very important. But what about presentation of the mind? Yeah. What about presentation of the mind? Some of them, when you talk to them a year old, come out of their mouth, you'll be like, whoa. You know? Come on, my people. Come on, my government. See? Jamaica land we love here, man. See? If we're going to see a better future for we use for the people in my Jamaica, we need to step up on the educational standard in our country. See? We don't have fixed road, we don't have run water, we don't need to fix education, that is important. Yeah? Everybody want pretty road to drive pretty car pan, car where all whole lion, we are going to rotten down. Fix the educational system, that is the road that needs so to the be. youth them can have a brain and a mind. You understand? Yes, man. Highly blessed. Up full. I am blessed, I am blessed. You know, I just walk in the place, yeah. I spoke to the little youth, and the little youth tell me, say, here, what I'm loving it. You know, say, I hear a thing, I watch, I'm stop smoke. See? Yeah. And he's not the only one or the first person that told me that. But it just make it make me feel good about that. To know that, you know, we have positive influence we can dish out there. So the youth have said, boy, I'm stop smoke. How long have you stop smoke now? From, from December 29. And guess yeah. what? I like that. Because you know December the 29th is my earth strong. Oh my god. Yeah. For real, bro. Yeah, man. December For 29th real, is my earth strong. So that's a significant meaning to me right there again. For real, bro. Jay. Yeah, because you never know that, do you? No. All right. Never know that. And at December 29th, you would say, stop smoke yeah, because I'm listening to Bingy attack. Yeah, man. See? Yeah. 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 Talk, yeah. And it's while well, I'm on that topic, I want the item know. Because I don't know, so I always give the item updates on yeah. my medical history. I went to the doctors yesterday again as you know that I went to do some MRI I went and did two MRIs see and I went for the results yesterday to with my doctors and thankful to God the doctor said Bingy everything looks great yes the doctor said Bingy everything on both the MRI I did one for my prostate and one for my in, um, abdomen both of them look great yes so like Bingy always I say health is wealth and that doesn't mean say you have to just do that and then you give it up and you know, go back at the doctor, go check up two, five, six, seven years after the rest of your life. It's something that you have to follow up. So the doctor suggests that I would do another one three months from now. Yeah, because you have now. These exams cost money, you know. But here what? It's worth it because of your life, for your health. See? And knowing is the key. When you know, you know how to control it. You see what I say? So thank God for that. My last result was excellent with both MRIs, see? So I'm doing great, thanks to the motivation of the people. Em. When I was in the hospital, a lot of you guys sent your prayers out to being gay, and believe me, it worked, see? And I'm not gonna let you guys down, because I don't smoke anymore, I don't drink anymore. The only thing I consume is a little red wine. Doctor says it's okay for me, and I don't over excessively do it, because I'm not a big drinker anyway, see? So, big up yourself, you. Yeah, one and keep one up here. with the ears up. Oh, yes, man. I no, bless. Up full. Bless up, man. Yeah.